Sherry Cole and Nimhoff News. The New England Music Hall of Fame was founded in 2019. Its mission is to unite, educate, promote, and preserve the integrity of the music scene in New England. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Steve Daga and I am excited to be part of the event for Joseph Firecrow. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm honored to accept this award, uh, especially with fellow inductees uh, on the level of Christine Holman, who's uh, like the greatest show person in the world. And Cliff. And, 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 and I will say, you know, when I started this, the James Montgomery Band in 1971, actually it was a little before that, but I was still in college then, but, you know, the one thing that I, that I always did even in my high school bands. I always said, no one's going to want to hear a harmonica player, so you better hire some really good musicians for that. You know? <laughs> Which is true. Um, so all my life I've hired great musicians and established bonds with some of the most wonderful players that, that you can ever imagine. Billy Squire, Jeff Pivar, all these people that have gone on to have wonderful careers. and. Um, and they mentored Susan Tedeschi when she was 14, and Grace Kelly when she was 13, and um, you know, it, the list goes on of, of all the people that have played with me and supported with me, including this wonderful band here, David Hall, who I think is like, um, you know, had he chosen another route, he, he, he probably could have been like a nuclear physicist and, uh, and probably come up with something better than the string theory in the Higgs field. But, and, and, and Seth Pappas, a uh, wonderful, wonderful guy who supported me for years. And, and you know, Cliff talks about opening for me. When I saw the American Standard Band, I said, man, these guys are really special. And it, it was a dream of mine to work with Cliff as well. And one day, as I was relieving myself, and I looked down and saw American standing on the toilet, I said, oh, so, so they got there. Yeah. So, it was a wicked pissed moment. Right? But anyway. I'll be right back. But anyway, all I'm trying to say is that, um, you know, it's an honor to accept this award and thank you, but I, I really, you know, everyone always says I owe it to everyone who played with me, but I really do, because once again, um, no one's going to 
made a CEO of Monica player. <laughs> Unless they have a really good musicians with them. And I, I, I accept this on behalf of all the musicians I've been able to work with over the years. And, you know, the, the many tours I've been on. But, you know, the, the, the night I met Bruce Springsteen, he sold 75 tickets. I mean, you know, so it was 150 seater, it was half full. I'm saying, Bruce, come on, can't you sell a fucking ticket around? <laughs> but anyway, um, so I accept this on behalf of all the great musicians who, who, who made me look good over the years. And on behalf of many audiences who I love and cherish. And believe me, I, I'm always tremendously grateful to anyone who comes down and sees us play. It means the world to me to have people to, to come down and share our music with. So thank you very much. This award really belongs to me. Thank you. Thank you.